Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'll talk about Myelodysplastic Syndrome's diagnosis may need a second opinion. Blood disorders known as Myelodysplastic Syndrome's or Neoplasms or MDS are difficult to diagnose and are commonly misdiagnosed, putting patients at increased risk for treatment mistakes and other potentially harmful consequences. According to researchers with Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine and collaborating organizations. The actual number of MDS diagnosed could be higher due to under-reporting and misclassification. The team compared the results from more than 900 patients enrolled in the National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute's National MDS Natural History Study. For the study, the researchers compared local and centrally reviewed diagnosis to quantify rates and degrees of clinically meaningful differences among MDS categories. They also determined if misdiagnosis affected the provided therapy. Key findings from the study included that approximately one-third of cases received diagnostic reclassification after central pathologist review. One-fifth of MDS diagnosis were pre-classified. 15% of the disagreements between local and central pathologists were the result of site miscoding errors by research coordinators calling into question the accuracy of national cancer registries that include patients with MDS. Treatment rates were lower in cases with diagnostic disagreement versus one in which local and central reviewers agreed. Misdiagnosed cases led to patients receiving inappropriate therapy in 7% of cases. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.